Welcome to It's Time to Go. Yeah, another episode. We're sitting here right in front of the burning wood. Not the burning bush. Oh. Is there a story about a burning bush somewhere? There is a story about a burning bush. Actually, that's the story for this week. God calling Moses to, uh, to a position of leadership and coming to him in the wilderness and kind of speaking through a flaming bush that refused to be consumed. It's kind of an odd story, and uh, I think if God starts talking to you out of inanimate objects or a flaming bush, you might start questioning your own sanity, right? Right. But then again, God often kind of speaks through, you know, more subtle ways now. And how does God speak through a flaming fire like this? Or how does God speak to us and call us to leadership uh, through the ashes? How can we find God's presence in those darker places as well and not just rely on the fire? Yeah, and I think sometimes we uh, start to question ourselves and start to question whether we're adequate to do what God would have us do in the world. And how could God use me and the little gifts that I have to do something remarkable? And I think the story of Moses is a really good story about how Moses has every excuse in the book of why he's not worthy to speak for God. And yet God uses him to do some pretty amazing things and provides for Moses in ways that Moses might not expect. Right. God's promise to Moses is that he will be with him through that. And ultimately, this is God raising up a leader for God's people to lead God's people out of some pretty terrible oppression. Um, and certainly there are people, people of God right now in our world that live in terrible oppression as well. So how may God be, might be, how might God be raising up leaders today uh, to lead those people out of oppression? Well, it's really, really hot in front of this fire. It is. So uh, I think it's time to go. It is definitely time to go.